Hi, I'm Tim Swarger and I help develop the world's most sensitive explosive detector. I received the ACS Creative Invention Award for my development of sensors that can detect explosives at ultra trace levels. What excites me about working on chemical sensors is the connection to societal needs. That if you can do something that actually gets out and makes a difference in, in the world in, in terms of safety or security or health, uh, that always struck me as a, a much uh, a more important goal. And, and seeing FIDO be used by the military in Iraq in, in some of the darkest hours there when we were having lots of bombs was, was really uh, very important to me. Well, FIDO is a portable handheld explosive detector. It's the most sensitive explosive detector ever produced. It's been used uh, in homeland security applications and, and forms of it in airports also uh, in the military in terms of looking for roadside bombs and it functions by essentially smelling. It's a sniffer technology where you pull in air and if the air is contaminated with explosive vapors which are very very low in, in concentration that it can detect it. The name FIDO comes from the fact that our detector works as a sniffer. It essentially is smelling similar to the way a dog uh, operates. Dogs, of course, are the gold standard. Dogs have incredible specificity. They have a highly evolved way of delivering vapor to their uh, nose, the way they, they breathe. But they uh, have some limitations. They can, uh, dogs can get tired. Uh, they only work with one trainer at a time. And you usually have to acclimate them to a situation so you can't just pull them out and use them. Uh, the Fido. Uh, has comparable sensitivity to a dog. Um, it, it, it at times has detected things where the dogs would miss them. So FIDO uh, began as really just a TNT sensor, but it's, it's evolved into a broad-based explosive detection system uh, that can detect many different things at once. We have developed uh, many different types, some that work in gas phase like FIDO, and some that work in water that would have uh, relevance to uh, environmental uh, concerns and maybe uh, health diagnostics. We have developed uh, different sensors that, that detect proteases. We've done that with fluorescence. You could use that, for example, to detect uh, specific proteases identified with uh, cancer. So you could have an early stage cancer uh, diagnostic. Uh, we've also developed ways to use conductive nanotubes to detect DNA. And there, the holy grail, of course, is to get to the detection of just a few molecules of DNA and to be able to do it in real time. And this would have many applications in detecting uh, pathogens. So, so FIDO continues to be developed into a, a broader based uh, e explosive detection and just broad detection capability with many different types of molecules being detected simultaneously. We call that a multiplexed sensor. We continue to develop sensors and this is going to be an ongoing mission. Uh, my dream has always been to have uh, a way to create sensors that almost have just essentially one wire between electrodes, one molecular or nano wire between electrodes, which can then be used as a detector. And one of our uh, goals there is to try and build that or be able to fabricate those in mass for uh, in an economical way for chemical sensing. And uh, I'm hopeful that by the time I retire, which is somewhere between 15 and 20 years from now uh, that we will get there.